The fate of one of the illegal racers sending a Mustang into a wall at 100 miles per hour and a failed attempt to get away from police in a Chevy Malibu. On July 8th, 2023, at approximately 2.01 p.m., I was patrolling Interstate 40 East in Conway when I overheard on Faulkner County Sheriff's Office dispatch that the Conway Police Department was in pursuit of a gray 2008 Ford Mustang bearing Arkansas license plates. They were traveling south on State Highway 365 at speeds ranging from 70 to 100 miles per hour. Troop A Communications Center then notified me that CPD was in pursuit and were asking for our assistance. I activated my emergency lights and siren and responded to the intercepted pursuit. While passing exit 125, I performed a TVI by placing my front right bumper on the rear left bumper of the Mustang and turned right, causing the Mustang to rotate counterclockwise. The Mustang rotated counterclockwise and struck the center cable barrier. As I turned around, I observed the suspect and driver, Mr. Derek N. Blevins, exit the vehicle and flee on foot into the grassy median. Multiple officers with CPD and Faulkner County Sheriff's Office gave chase and took Mr. Blevins into custody. It all started when a cop patrol on the highway spotted a Chevy Malibu. After running the license plate through dispatch, it was discovered that the driver had an active warrant and a traffic stop was initiated. bypass on Southwest Avenue. It's going to be a Chevy Impala, white and color, Arkansas Adam, David Frank, 47 Mary, ADF 47 m Of course, after the police officer got out of the car, the suspect began an attempt to flee. At the time the chase began, the suspect was wanted for a felony fleeing, theft by receiving, reckless driving, speeding, expired tags, no insurance, driving on a suspended license, and no seatbelt. At the first opportunity, when space was available, the police officer performed a pit maneuver. Under these. 
On December 31st, 2023, while patrolling northbound on Interstate 430 between mile markers 4 and 5, I observed a vehicle traveling at 94 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour zone. Then I observed a second car traveling at 95 miles per hour in the 65 mile per hour zone, a short distance behind that vehicle. I began to catch up to the vehicles, observing them exit the interstate at exit number four. I followed both vehicles, turned right onto Colonel Gleed Road, and traveled west. As we approached the intersection of Colonel Glean Road and David O. Dodd Road, I observed several vehicles surrounding the intersection preventing traffic from traversing through the intersection and a vehicle performing donuts in the middle of the intersection. I initiated my emergency lights as I approached the intersection when a Toyota Camry began trying to leave east onto Colonel Glen Road. I attempted to block the vehicle in, but the operator, later identified as Deshaun Slay, maneuvered around my patrol vehicle. Slay began to accelerate east on Colonel Glen Road, attempting to flee. As Slay sped up to over 100 miles per hour, he turned off all lighting to his vehicle, blacking out, minimizing his visibility and making it difficult for me or any other motorist to see him. He continued to flee onto Stagecoach Road, where he began traveling into the oncoming lanes of traffic and failed to stop or yield at red lights while speeding up to approximately 130 miles per hour. As we crossed under Interstate 30, we approached an intersection with Interstate's off-ramp that displayed a red light to us and had several vehicles stop. Slay maneuvered to the left around the vehicles, failing to stop by the red light, and began traveling in the opposing lane without any forward-facing lights. Slay then attempted to cross back onto the correct side of the road causing him to slow significantly. Taking this opportunity, I performed a TVI, striking the right side of his vehicle with the left front corner of my patrol vehicle. As a result of the TVI, 
Slay's vehicle was stopped, and I steered my now disabled patrol vehicle in front of his car. I then ordered Slay to show me his hands, to which he complied. I removed Slay from the driver's seat and placed him into custody. An administrative inventory was conducted on Slay's vehicle, revealing approximately 2.9 grams of green vegetable matter, believed to be marijuana, in a glass jar located in the center console. The suspect marijuana was secured and later submitted into evidence. Thanks for your time and have a great day.